What up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're going to make this a quick one um, simply because I do not. And, and you know what? Let me say a couple of things before we start this video. Number one, when I first started blog style videos, and that's talking about celebrities, a lot of uh, the blog style creators did not like the fact that I was reacting to their videos. So when it comes to reactions to bloggers videos i ain't doing it um nine mag some of these other channels that's different there they are automation channels which means somebody's behind the scenes running that channel but they don't care enough to if i'm reacting to it or not <laughs> and they probably have 17 other channels that's not their focus but a person who's working on one channel they feel some type of way i completely understand so the guy that y'all wanted me to react to who basically said that Blufus got paws put on him and might have got some metal put in him. So he said, I put that reaction on my Patreon. Uh, my Patreon link is down in the pinned comment. Y'all can go check it out. Um, that's number one. Number two, the reason I have a Patreon is to react to copyrighted content. Okay. When it comes to certain shows and stuff y'all want me to watch, Clearly, I can't put that on YouTube. It's a way you can do it, but I haven't figured out that way yet. Like, you can edit it, and, and you can get an editor to do it. Watch it on Patreon. That's all you got to do. Um, so that's the reason why I have a Patreon. I also might take vlogs to Patreon. Let me know if y'all want me to do daily vlogs on my Patreon, if y'all will be feeling that. That's number two. Number three, um, with Bluefoot's allegedly being the nigga said metal putting him and i'm saying that because he might have got poked in uh prison now what the vit jail what the video was saying is basically he got some homies that's in jail in uh la county jail and um they basically said that bluefus allegedly got poked and he's good but they don't know if he's gonna go back out into general population because when you know you're a celebrity they basically try to give you a certain amount of um security you know what i'm saying just to make sure you come out of there alive they ain't got time to be getting sued by these families for real that's what it's about and they need to protect you they need to protect whoever else's investment in this situation bluefish is whack 100's investment whether y'all look at it like that or not, that's what this is. So they got to make sure he's good in jail. So with that being said, um, he allegedly got poked up and he's good. They just don't know if he's going to be um, protected. Do I believe it? I'm not even going to say if I believe it or not, because it's like he say, she say, I don't know if cuz lying or not. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Do I think that Bluefus would take a chance on not being protected? Yes, because he think he's so tough. Like we all know Bluefus can fight. When I when he went to jail and you know I was making these videos and I'm like he going to be good, child. He can fight. Yeah, that don't matter when they got a uh, metal sharpness up in the up in the jail house. That's basically what that man was saying. He was talking about sharpening metal and and, and bacon soda breath from the officers. I'm like, what does this even mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is this? But, um, you know, he basically know about that jail talk, girl. And it was a good video. I mean, it was very informative as far as I'm concerned. He might be telling the honest truth. It might have happened. And, you know, Bluefus's mother, she keeps saying, like, um, well, at least from Dre's perspective, she like... I. Something doesn't happen to Blue. I don't want nothing to happen to you or whatever. Basically, is how he's putting it. And granted, he is in a manic state right now. So he could be um, just pulling anything out his ass. However, you know, it's always some truth to some of this bullshit we be seeing on this Internet, y'all. It's always a little bit of truth to it. And it might be real. It might be real. Now, the thing is, I hope that he can put his pride to the side and get protection 444 in the chat while he's in jail. Because it doesn't make sense to sacrifice your life 
to be tough. And I hate that about our community, and I really hate that about our men. They are okay with acting tough and being tough and to say, nigga, I'm a fight. Now, what he did say is he said the blacks, which we don't like the blacks. We're brown. I don't understand that, but whatever. Black people in the jail take up for each other when they going against a different race. However, when they got beef with each other, they still beef with each other. So he's insinuating that Bluefist did not get jumped in uh, to the schoolyards. Now, schoolyards, I am a pedestrian. I ain't, I don't know nothing about it. Don't want to know nothing about it. Ain't being disrespectful about it. I don't know nothing about it. I'm just letting you know what Cuz said. And if you want to know who Cuz did, go look on my Patreon. But, you know, he was basically saying Bluefist didn't get jumped in. Now, I know at one point Bluefist definitely gave us a story time about how he got jumped in. Um... I think that would be very much uncrippedly like for them to just be like, yeah, we just going to accept you and not get you jumped in. But everybody else get jumped in. That wouldn't even be fair to the niggas who uh, accepted a man. Five, five, five in the chat. Like, here we are. We got jumped in. We got our ass beat. But just because you blue face, we not going to you shouldn't get your ass beat. I don't understand that. So I don't believe that anyway. So uh, that's what he's insinuating. That was the reason why um, he is in this situation because he did not get jumped in to the schoolyards. Okay. Now the guy explained it way better than I can explain it. It's on my Patreon. Um, I'm just not in the business of testing these YouTubers to see if they going to give me a copyright strike or not because they don't want me reacting to their content. Um, YouTuber wise, I don't care. Blogger wise, I ain't got time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I am cool with the tea community on Royalty's World. You know what I'm saying? So Real Tea, uh, Tea Room, Voice for the People, those are the videos I react to over there. We are all right. <laughs> we don't have them problems, but um, with the blog, with the bloggers, I'm just letting y'all know the difference. So let me know what y'all think about it. Go watch the video. Like I said, it's on my Patreon link in a pinned comment. Um, I also reacted to the video of Bonnie getting beat up by Krishan. <laughs> like, um, Bonnie had a girl, she got a box of videos she put out yesterday. She, she doing uppercuts. It's fucking hilarious. But, um, yeah, child. I put that on the Patreon earlier today because I told y'all I was going to do that, and I did it. So, y'all make sure y'all tap in, man. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. That's how I feel about the poked up situation. I hope he's okay. Okay, um, and that nigga better learn to sharpen some metal if he does decide that he don't want no protection. At least get you a, a, a shank. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At least get you a shank up in there. Okay, <sighs> let me know what y'all think about it. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.